Okay, you know, I just did a video on the gal who cut the guy's penis off again, okay? Again, that's right. Here we go again, right? And considering it's a uh, 1st of May, that's right. Tuesday, May 5th, 2012. And this is just on Mail Online, and I got one more to show you, okay? Just in five minutes on a computer, the kind of news that we see in today's society, okay? Woman 22 given two life sentences for allowing professor to have sex with her five-month-year-old daughter. Okay, so we have two sickles. A professor wants to have sex with an infant baby. That's right, some fucking full-grown adult wants to stick his thing in an infant baby and kill it, right? Because that's what he'd do, he's he'd kill it. Okay, and this mother, she's stupid enough to let it happen. Well, at least she got two life sentences. Okay? And then what do we got? That's right. <laughs> okay, now we have a woman 28 to cut off the penis. That's right. This is just today. Okay, we're not even going to look at political bullshit, okay? Because that's a whole other area there, boy. If I wanted a political man, I'm fucking telling you, between dating and political and how we treat each other, I'm telling you, you let the bombs fall, right? And I just did a video on the woman who cut it off. There you go. And right here, Mom, re Mom reportedly poured bleach into her toddler's eyes until her sight was permanently damaged. There you go. There's a mother pouring bleach. Pouring bleach in her kid's eye. I mean, you know, I guess it's sort of like Planned Parenthood, right? You know, all the protesting women out there complaining about abortion because they don't want to be responsible. Because the women in today's society want to bear no responsibility for nothing, not even spreading their own legs. They want everything handed to them on a silver product because all the society's done nothing but pamper them and pamper them and pamper them and baby them and pamper them. Why don't you go get some diapers and baby bottles for the women in today's society? Okay? That's right. Some diapers and some fucking baby bottles since you want to pamper them so bad, okay? Because, and eugenics, well, there you go. I mean, you know, I guess what happened was she didn't get the abortion or couldn't afford the abortion, so she went ahead and let it be born, and now she'll pour bleach in its eyes because she loves her children so much, you know, because mother and our nurturing and caring people, right, as you can tell. And here's a mother, that's right, made sex tape with her son, 16, and sent him naked photos of herself. So how many mothers are having sex with their own sons? That's right. Do you call that normal? for mothers to have sex with their own freaking children. Okay, but here we are, today's society. What do we expect, right, in 2012? Now, this is an epidemic worldwide. It's not just in America. That's right. What were they thinking? That's right. America's stupidest criminals who keep getting caught because of the tattoos that covered their faces? Well, you know, the stupidness that these people right here represent, represent. And to see this kind of stupidness, all you got to do is step outside. It's all around you. Surround you everywhere. Turn on your TV. Surround you everywhere. Look in the Oval Office. You'll see Barack Obama. Yeah, he fits this role too. You know, he's trying to use Ben Laden as a ploy to re an election. I mean, we all know the election's a scam anyhow. But he wants to brag how he took out a dead man. <laughs> you mean a guy that had already been dead for years and you killed him again? Wow, must be an accomplishment to kill an already dead person, huh? Anyhow. And then, of course, we was going to YouTube, you see stupidness everywhere from smiling dumbass skeptic to Vokter to fucking desert dumbass to Brandon Kirk dumbass. I mean, it's just dumbass after dumbass. Stupidness is what runs this world nowadays, isn't it? Okay? I mean, you know, it's just sickening. But I wanted to show you this, okay? Because I figured this was worth looking at, okay? And here's, here's, another, here's another stupid guy right here, okay? Man bit off the lip of his pregnant girlfriend after he was freed from jail after just seven months for doing the same thing. I guess this guy's got a fetish with biting off women's lips. <laughs> and he still learn. I mean, it's like today's society. People keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. Because you don't learn nothing. Your memory span is so short, you don't remember from one minute to the next, do you? And here's a fucking, here's a coward bully. I call this a coward bully. Why do I call this a coward bully? Well, because he had to sucker punch somebody, which means you couldn't do it any other way, right? 
That's what you get for talking about me. That's right, because somebody talked about him. Horrific video of Bully Teen getting his sucker punched in the face is posted online. Yep, that's today's society for you. Okay. Well, I just wanted to give you a rundown there. And last but not least, we have this. That's right. Young mother shot to death in front of her toddler in northwest Houston. That's right. It was a heartbreaking scene in northwest Houston Tuesday when a woman was shot to death in front of her toddler. It happened at the Tidwell Estates Apartment Complex in 1200 block of Tidwell near Wethley, whatever you call that. Witnesses say a man grabbed the child out of her mother's arms and set her down. He then shot the woman while screaming, I love you. Didn't I tell you it was love? What did I tell you about the way we treat each other? There you go. See, didn't I tell you you people call this love? There you go. There's proof in your face. Yep. As he was shooting her, I love you. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. The victim died at the scene. Yep, she died of love. With the little girl by her side, urging her mom to wake up. Yeah, urging her mom to wake up. Her mother's dead. The man shot himself to death. The woman who lives in an apartment says she heard five gu quick gunshots followed by two more. There you go. There you go. Well, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of what we see happening just in one fucking day. That's right, just in one fucking day. And then you wonder why I say let the bombs fall.